Yo! Guys, what is going on? It is Alex or Faze Zap here today, right now on June 24th, 2016. I just hit 1 million Twitter followers. Yes, it happened, and I keep leaving this rundown game and getting back in it. Watch, it's gonna happen again. What the fuck did I say? I don't even care though, because I just hit a million followers on Twitter right now. And I think that's fucking dope. A million followers on Twitter, a million followers on Twitter. It's a lot of people. I literally remember the day I hit 1,000 followers on Twitter. I thought it was so cool. I was a freshman in high school. It was like the last day of my freshman year of high school. And I hit 1,000. I was so hyped. I was showing like all these kids in my French class. I'm like, oh yeah, no big deal. I have 1,000 followers. This was like back in 2000. 11. Twitter was a lot smaller back then, so having a thousand followers was like a pretty huge deal, so I was like hyped as fuck. And now I'm sitting here with a million followers on Twitter. One million. One people came to my Twitter page and hit that little white follow button. Actually, it turns blue after you hit it. If any of you guys are one of those million people that follow me, thank you so much. Or if you're just, you know, active on Twitter in general, or if you see my tweets, or if you like them, or retweet them, or whatever, thank you guys. And speaking of having a million followers, I'm actually about to hit a million on Instagram, too. I'm literally like 8,000 off a million on Instagram. So if you guys want to go follow me for I can hit a million on Instagram the same day I hit it on Twitter, that'd be pretty dope. My Instagram is the phase adapt. I'll put it on text on the screen. You guys can go follow it if you want. But hey, I am actually making a Call of Duty video today. I noticed on my channel that I haven't made a Call of Duty video in like a week actually. I've just been fucking around making a lot of different type of videos. Like I made that flash skin. I'm making ping pong trick shots. And I realized I haven't made a Call of Duty video in a minute. So I'm here. I'm on Modern Warfare 2. Quick scope in it. You guys already know. But anyways, what I wanted to tell you guys is I saw the other day a bunch of people were tweeting me that my video got posted on Facebook again. My awkward time to hit my awkward time to hit a clip, the one where Rain smashed the TV with a knife. If you guys don't remember what I'm talking about, here you go. That's I the wanted, fucking teacher! Oh my god, to god dude! That's the fucking there. teacher! What the fuck, dude? What the fuck are you doing to the TV? Bro, what? Bro, what you chill? Chill! Bro! Oh! Oh my fucking god, pussy. I hit a fucking crane shot! You fucking pussy! No. Yeah, this video got posted on Facebook and it got over 2.4 million views and 25,000 shares. I think the original video has half that many views. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Thanks to uh, that guy for ripping my video off and uploading it. This actually happened to me like a month or two ago. I don't know if you guys remember, I made a video on it as well. Where the awkward time to hit a clip where I smacked Adriana with a controller. Got posted like all over Twitter and Facebook and stuff. And when that happens, like it's obviously like not in reference to my YouTube channel so people just watch that not knowing what's what it is so they think it's real they think that actually happened so there's all these people out there who see you know me every once in a while getting posted on some page slapping my girlfriend or having my crazy asshole friend stab my TV after losing Smash Bros they probably think I'm nuts and that I ha all my friends are nuts it's just a skit it's not real I promise it is fake as shit okay does everyone understand that now is, is it clear because I swear to god I've met people in public like when I was out with Adriana and stuff before and they're like hey I saw that clip online of you smacking her in the face with a controller Oh my like are you okay? But hey actually last night I did something pretty cool I was hanging out with everyone in the house and every night we're always like super bored We never really go out and do I mean sometimes we do the other night we went bowling and I fucked everyone up I came up so clutch in bowling I won the first game and the second game We were on the last round and I had one pin to hit and if I hit it I lost and I hit the one fucking pin There was one standing up and I nailed it and I hit it I fucking nailed it and I took that W hell yeah Face house bowling champion, that's me. But anyways, we spontaneously decided to go to Times Square, get a hotel, and just stay there for the night and hang out. And we actually did it. We went through with it. We booked a hotel. We Ubered down there. There was like five of us there. We all went. We hung out. We went to Times Square, walked around, got food. We were literally just sitting in the middle of Times Square eating ice cream, just chilling at like 1 or 2 a.m. And we see this homeless dude like walking over our way. He's like wobbling and shaking and like he, he looks pretty fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. And he had a sign that said something about money and drugs and hoes. I'm not, I'm not sure what what it said exactly but anyways he walked over to us and he just started up a conversation and Nikon was talking to him for a little bit and he asked him and Nikon was talking to him for a little bit and he was asking him if he was okay because like I said this guy clearly you know he was not okay he was wobbling all over the place I'm really not trying to be mean here but to put it in perspective for you guys he looked like he got hit by a bus and he walked around right after and just tried to talk to people. Anyways, he started telling us about like all the drugs that he was on. And he said the name of this drug that I'd never heard before called China White or some shit like that. And he told us it was the highest grade heroin that there is. That that's what his favorite thing to do was. And I actually like right after he said that I was just uncomfortable. And I was just looking at this dude like what the fuck? And I was just looking at this guy like wow this is literally a full blown drug addict. And I'm just realizing like how lucky I am to 
be in the position that I am and to be able to do what I do. And then that's just something that you never want to happen to. Like, that guy was so far gone. But besides that, New York City was dope. Like, every time I go there, I have so much fun. Alright, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like I said, I haven't played Call of Duty on my channel in a few days. Actually, a week ago today was the last time I uploaded a Call of Duty video. So I wanted to play today, you know, get it back into my upload schedule, and I wanted to talk about some things. I had a million Twitter followers. That's awesome. Thank you guys all for that again. But anyways, that has been the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you did. And that's been Alex or Fezad. Fezad, dude. I'm not sure if I said that twice. I might have. If I did, I'm sorry.